I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. America, are we a third world country? I'm asking because apartment buildings are collapsing, bridges are failing, power grids are also failing, and potholes are making me spill hot coffee in my lap and stopping my ability to reproduce. For the last four years, we watched someone talk about infrastructure week and do nothing. Weak. Infrastructure. 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 Not even a bill was introduced. Now we see America literally falling apart, yet President Joe has already gotten one bill through and he did it with bipartisan support. 19 Republicans voted with him. Ha <laughs> ha! What world are we living in? A world of never ending happiness. You can always see the sun. Day. Day. People not fixing or replacing things never works or I'd still be driving my 1983 Mitsubishi and wearing my 1983 Fruit of the Looms, tidy whities alrighty. And nobody wants that. We need to fix it. Roads, bridges, buildings, water. How you doing, Flint? Anything fixed yet? Turns out, yeah, politicians in Michigan say Flint has water as clean as any in Michigan. Well, that's not exactly saying the water's clean. It's just the same amount of dirty. Sounds like someone's avoiding a class action suit using semantics. Our city is as safe as any Afghanistan. So is our city safe or is it fucking Afghanistan? Speaking of that, to all of you who worried about spending money on infrastructure and that it's a waste and we can't afford it, we spent $2 trillion in Afghanistan and a ton of that money was spent on infrastructure in another country while our bridges collapse. Our kids are drinking lead Kool-Aid and students have to use Wi-Fi at the Taco Bell to do their homework. Texas lost its electrical grid because, well, Texas. But this hurricane that hit Louisiana, not the one before, the one before, or the one before, the one before, but this new one, blew out power to a million homes, destroyed the entire grid. Huh, we mount high power voltage lines on giant sticks. How come that doesn't last forever? Listen, investing in infrastructure and new technologies is a win-win-win. We upgrade the system, trucks deliver goods faster, and maybe if we get Amazon to pay their share of taxes, we could fix the roads that Amazon uses to make their billions and billions and billions with trucks that constantly block the fucking driveway. Jeff, if your drivers drive like they own it, <laughs> you should help pay for it. Imagine when we upgrade the grid with solar, wind, and geothermal. We create millions of jobs and get oil workers and coal miners out of their crap jobs and give them new Crap jobs, but out in the sun where they can smoke legal marijuana on their lunch breaks, you know, stopping black lung and creating chill THC and CBD infused employees that are easily placated with tortilla chips. <sighs> and we help reverse climate catastrophe and the grid can't go down because you'll have your own personal grid, your house, where you fill up your car with electricity <laughs> that costs less than a quarter of what filling your tank does with oil we bought from a country that wishes we were dead. We are not wasting money by rebuilding. We are investing in our country to grow an even richer country, a better economy. So then, after we've rebuilt everything, we can have better, newer Starbucks and mini malls so we can sell each other more crap we don't need that was made in China by people with better infrastructure. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Sometimes it just feels like I'm talking in circles, doesn't it?